Hey everyone, Missy here, and I am teaching myself how to use some new video recording software. So I figured why not teach you while teaching myself? So I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to remove counters from text using our old friend Inkscape. Uh, the counters are the areas that are completely enclosed within letters, like the center of the O here, the center of the E here, and you can see with all these red letters up above, I've removed the counters from them already. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so first off, I'm going to use my selector tool and just clear this out. Bada bing, using the delete key. And now I'm going to type in just a word. Love, simple, easy. The letter O has a nice big meaty counter in it that we can remove. So I'm going to uh, highlight that, click and drag there, and I'm going to change the font to my MacGuffin wide. And now I'm going to resize this using my selector tool and holding down control while clicking and dragging on one of these corner points. That's going to resize it uniformly. I'm not stretching it tall or wide. It's going to stay the exact proportions that it started. All right, so now I want to convert this typable text into vector objects. And I'm going to do that by going to Path, Object to Path. And then I'm going to go Object, Ungroup. What that has done is object to path made everything into vector objects and then ungroup kind of unlinked them all so each one is a separate thing. If I go to my edit path by nodes tool, the second arrow down here, once I click on these you can see all the points and lines that make up these letters. So this is going to be really easy. I am just going to be selecting the points that are inside the letter O and you can grab them all by using the same Edit Path by Nodes tool and just clicking and dragging, drawing this rectangle around so it includes just those points. They're all selected now and I just have to hit the delete key and boom, they're gone. It's that easy. That's how you remove counters from your letters. So now you can make any font into a font with no counters inside the letters. Now you can take this a step further and you can fill the counter with something else, like another shape. So what I'm going to do is I am going to type a lowercase k here and then I'm going to change that to the font Zookie Squash Ornaments. That's one of mine and I just know because I looked it up on the PDF guide that that is this cool swirly shape you see here. So I am going to also turn that into a vector object because it's typable right now. Same thing, path, object to path. And now it is a vector object. You can see all its tiny little points there. Let's make this guy bigger. We're going to also um, hit control, click and drag, and make it larger. Now, uh, once you go into this selection tool, the first thing it gives you is the ability to resize, but if you click on the object a second time, it's going to give you the uh, rotation arrows, so you can just grab one of those and spin this little guy around. I'm also going to change its color, doesn't matter what color you change it to, but since I'm going to be putting it over the black here, I just want something that'll stand out against the black. And now you can kind of scoot it around, make it a little bigger, make it a little smaller, whatever works for you. Alright, and now using my Edit Path by Nodes tool, again that's the second arrow down here, I am going to select both the swirly and then holding down the Shift key, I'm going to select the O outside. That selects them both at the same time and I'm going to subtract the top item out of the bottom item, just carve it right out of there using Path Difference. If you're ever unsure of which of these path options to choose, the little drawings here tell you exactly what's going to happen. The circle, which is the top item in all of these instances, is going to carve itself out of the square, which is always the bottom. So when I hit Difference, boom! It is now transparent on the inside. You can, of course, move these letters around if you want to, to make things even cooler. You can rotate them. You can kind of make them kooky and fun, whatever floats your boat and give yourself a unique and fun customized bit of lettering. So there you go. I hope you learned something. I know I did because now I know how to use this screen recording software. So 
removing counters from Inkscape. There you go. Have a good one.